the lawyer for Fredericton man accused of killing four people, including two city police officers in a shooting spree this month, says he expects to eventually enter pleas of not guilty, and request a preliminary hearing. Nathan Gorham, a New Brunswick-based lawyer who practices out of St. John and Toronto, made the comment outside the courthouse shortly after Matthew Vincent Raymond made a brief court appearance on Monday morning. Mr. Raymond said nothing as he faced a Fredericton judge on four counts of murder in the deaths of Constable Sarah Burns, Constable Rob Costello, Donnie Robichaux, and Bobby Lee Wright. Mr. Raymond, 48, wore orange jail clothing and leg shackles as officers helped him cautiously exit a sheriff's van. He looked down at the ground for much of the morning's events but observers noted he is slim, has short hair, is balding and has a graying beard. The court appearance was the first time the media has been able to provide visual images of Mr. Raymond, other than a fuzzy yearbook picture from his teenage years. The police officers and civilians were gunned down August 10 outside an apartment complex in the New Brunswick capital. It ended after police shot the alleged gunman in the abdomen, according to court documents. Mr. Raymond moved slowly and tentatively as he was led in and out of the court. Mr. Gorm said his client is in fairly poor physical condition, but he is receiving medical treatment and is now out of hospital. On Monday, Regional Sheriff George Orm cautioned everyone in the courtroom against any outbursts. Members of the victims' families were among about 70 people assembled in the packed courtroom for Mr. Raymond's appearance. They left without speaking to reporters. Security at the courthouse was tight, and a large section of parking lot was cordoned off, with sheriff's vehicles used to block some of the view of the courthouse entrance where Mr. Raymond was brought in. The defense presented Judge Julian Dixon with a piece of evidence, but the provincial court judge imposed a publication ban on anything to do with it. Mr. Gorm said they were unable to proceed with the case on Monday because the lawyers are still awaiting disclosure, or release of the findings of the police investigation. I expect that his plea will be not guilty and that we'll be requesting a preliminary inquiry, but we can't make that decision until after I've received the disclosure, Mr. Gorham said. Crown Prosecutor Darlene Blunston said she had been told not to expect the first portion of that disclosure until the first week of October. Justice Dixon adjourned the case until September 24. Mr. Gorm said if he has not received disclosure by that point, he'll again be asking to receive it, and the case will be set over for another date. The opportunity to enter pleas will come once the case is sent to the Court of Queen's Bench. Constable Costello, 45, was a 20-year police veteran with four children, while Constable Burns, 43, had been an officer for two years and was married with three children. Mr. Robichaux, 42, had three children and had recently entered into a relationship with 32-year-old Ms. Wright when they were killed. Thousands of police officers and first responders from across the continent traveled to Fredericton to attend a regimental funeral for Constable Burns and Constable Costello. Friends and acquaintances of Mr. Raymond have offered varying memories of the accused murderer. Some have recalled how he retreated for long periods of time into video games, while others recall a pleasant supermarket co-worker. Recent accounts describe an increasingly isolated loner who was ejected from a bicycle shop and asked to leave a cafe for erratic behavior.